Hola, I'm Marisol, Miss Marisol from Butterfly Garden Preschool and today we are going to make or we're going to start making our number row. So I'm going to show you this is a number row that I brought from school and it's one of the students I had and I'm borrowing from my classroom and I'm going to put it back soon. Okay, so number roll. Number roll is one of the best ways to make the kid practice number sense, place value. Like um, they know the number, right? They know 11. Mm -hmm. But put it together, how much is 11 in talking about the Montessori um, material? So 11, what do you need? You need a 10 and you need a 1. So they put together the 10 and a 1 and they put it together the way, the place value, you know, the, the, the right way that it has to be, like units, tens, um, hundreds and thousands. So let's start with our number row. First of all, what do you need? Ah, before that, um, I'm gonna tell you something. So if sometimes the kids, they know the numbers, right? They know how to put them together in order and they know how much is using the beads, but sometimes they have still practice how to write them. So what I do is I make dots. I make like number one, I just do, I trace dots and they have to trace on top. So that's another way that they can practice their numbers too. And I'm gonna tell you, number roll, it's so much fun. I remember when I was little in my Montessori school in Mexico, we used to do number row, but I was in elementary school, so it was a little more challenging because the units, they were yellow, the tens were blue, the hundreds were green, and the thousands were red, if I remember, if I remember right. Um, so we had to write the numbers each different color the right color but the teacher didn't let us cheat you know like one 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 two 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 three three no so we had to write the numbers like one um color for each number but you know what at the end there was i remember there was a contest so all the kids we had to go outside at the playground and we unrolled our number rolls and they were like crossing the patio they were so 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 long kids i remember some kids they were higher than i don't know like thousands like it was amazing so this is one of the coolest uh, math activities we have in well in my classroom we love them okay so what do we need we need papers with squares because each square we're going to write the number so i'm showing you this because to cut the pieces that i'm going to show you it's going to be a little tricky but don't worry you're going to get it and if you don't want to cut them like that you can do this maybe and you can just paste 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 glue a lot of lot more papers like this but remember so the units they go here they're not on the left, like when we start writing. So we have to start here, 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 here. So units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So that's how we start. Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now, how do we do a number roll? I'm going to open this number roll. I'm going to show you. So when I unroll it, you'll see two 
the strips, they have two squares. So those are for the tens. But the very first is just a single for the units, okay? So this is a number block. And this kid almost get to 100. She got 250. Cool, huh? Okay, so let's do it. So that's what you're gonna do, that's a number roll. So, you need one single strip like that for the units, 10 for this one, for the tens, 10 tens. But the last 10 has a little tiny extra square on the left for the 100. Mm -hmm. So remember the place value, units, tens, and hundreds. So when you glue them together, you need to glue them like this. Units with units, tens with tens. And then if your kid is going more and more and more, and then you go hundreds with hundreds. And then if he gets to thousand, wow, then you have to add up four square strip. Okay, so let's start. This is how we do it. I gave the kids in my classroom, they work on the table or sometimes they like to work on, on a map. So I give the kids the first row, which is from one to zero to nine. So here we go. I gave the pack, I gave the, I give them the numbers. If you have flashcards or if you wanna write them, it's fine. So I give them, and they have to put them in order. And then I gave them the beats. But remember, you have your short beats. They're made out of paper, so you use them. So you give the kids, and the kids are gonna put the numbers in order. So that's zero. I'm gonna move the phone soon, don't worry. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the kids, they have to also match it with the beats. Zero, none, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, I was, ah, here's my four, and five. After they do all the way to nine, like this, all the way to nine, then they're going to get their paper, the first paper, the single one, and they are going to write. One, two, three, four, five. I, I forgot the pencil, sorry. Okay, so they're gonna write. When they're done with the units, then they move on to the tens. Tens, so you put this away. And you give them from 10, to 19, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They have to put them up, or you guys put them in order. You can mix the numbers and they know how to put them in order. If, so that's another way to practice. Okay, and then 10, you have your 10 bar, 10. It's a little bit, so first is a 10. Then 11, how do you make 11? So 11, it's a 10 and a one. So they have to put the 10 and one. And then ta -da -da -da, all the way to 19. And then they record it, they write it here. They go 10, 11, 12. Now, remember, one square you have to write one number. Each square is for one digit, okay? So one here. Now, if your kids 
know everything, but they still have a little help writing, you can do the dots and they can do it. Just make sure they don't go first doing the ones, 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 and then two, three, four, five. No, they have to make the right um, complete number. So they write 10, 11, 12, 13, like that. Okay. Then pretend we did all the numbers. We did our um, one from zero to nine, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, I mean 29, 30 to 39, and then 40 to 49, and then 50 to 59, blah, blah, and we are gonna do the last one. So this is gonna be from 90 to 100. So what do you need? So you give them the numbers again, they put them together, and then they match. So here is 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, Ooh. Ay. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So for each one, so how many tens do you need to make 90? Nine ten. So after they, I don't know if you're gonna have enough. But you can make more tens. That will be fun. After you made all the nineties. So for the hundred, remember what do you have for the hundred? Cha 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 cha. Your hundred square. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Now, when you're gonna write ninety ninety. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So you start the one here, like this, okay? And then you can go, keep counting. You can go as high as you can. 101, 102, 103, and you have your papers like this, 100, and one, 100 and, ooh, 102. Just keep an eye on the place value where you're gonna write them and have so much fun writing and making your number roll. And then take pictures and show me how long did you go? Okay, okay, adios.